You're so plain and cheap. My mother-in-law, who has a taste for luxury, repeats her sarcasm every time she meets me. My mother-in-law, who loves first-cast goods, says that a woman like me is unworthy of being her son's wife. One day, my mother-in-law, who made fun of the cheap things I wear, poured wine on the dress I was wearing. Stop it, you cheap thing, my mother-in-law, who has told me so, later turned pale when she learned the truth. My name is Isabel, a 28-year-old housewife. I married my husband James two years ago, and since we have no children yet, we are enjoying a carefree life. Married life with my kind husband is peaceful and smooth. We are even talking about having a baby soon. I'm in the midst of such happiness, but my relationship with my mother-in-law, my husband's mother, is not so good. My mother-in-law, Kate, has been very critical of me since we first got married. Even after two years of marriage, we have not been able to build a good relationship. I tried to get along with her, but she doesn't seem to want to. My son wanted to get married. I wonder what kind of young lady he would bring. She's very plain or simple. She's not very nice. Perhaps I had made a bad impression on my mother-in-law at our first meeting, but these were the first words she said to me. Perhaps she was trying to tell me that I was not a suitable wife for her son. My parents are a normal working couple. My father is an office worker and my mother is a nurse. However, my mother-in-law said that as a child of such a family, I did not fit in. I can't believe your mother has to work too. There must have been very poor, my mother-in-law said with a pitying look in her eyes when she heard about my family. My mother-in-law, who had been a housewife since her marriage and had never worked, laughed and said she had never experienced such hardship. She also proudly told me that she grew up in a wealthy family. From a young age, I always wore things that were nicer than the other people around me. Cheap things don't suit me. That's why I raised my son to know what is the best. I didn't know how to react to my mother-in-law, so I always tried to cover it up with an affectionate smile. It is true that I prefer simple clothes and makeup, which may not suit my mother-in-law, who prefers glamorous things. My mother-in-law always wears fancy luxury brand clothes, accessories, and makeup. You don't know what good things are, do you? You only know about cheap stuff, don't you? I wonder why my son chose her at all. I raised him to know what is good. After boasting a lot, she always ends up putting me down. Since my husband and I got married, my mother-in-law and I have always been in this kind of situation. However, she is also sarcastic to me when we meet occasionally, and I don't mind it too much because it's something I can just ignore. But my father-in-law and husband are kind to me, and I didn't think it was something I needed to take care of. There was one more person who welcomed me kindly into my in-law's home, my grandmother-in-law. My father-in-law's mother, who is my husband's grandmother, is a little over 80 years old, but she is still in good health. My husband's parents have two houses on a large yacht, and parents-in-laws and grandparents live in each of them. Both houses are magnificent mansions, and I was very surprised when I saw them for the first time. The land was cheap, and we had a carpenter who built them cheaply. It's not that magnificent, my grandmother-in-law replied with a laugh. My mother-in-law proudly talked about her house and herself, but in reality it was largely due to the achievements of my grandparents-in-law. In spite of this, my grandmother-in-law is not snobbish and is very friendly with me. Thanks to that, I didn't mind when my mother-in-law annoyed me. It feels like I have more grandchildren. Well, you don't have any female grandchildren in our family, my grandmother-in-law said so and loved me very much. If possible, I would like to get along with the three of us women, but the reality is that it doesn't work out that way. Still, I am glad that I can get along with my grandmother-in-law. Although I do not actively associate with my mother-in-law, I have a good relationship with my grandmother-in-law, like going out for lunch or tea with her. One day, my mother-in-law called me. It's my birthday next month. I've decided to have it at our house this year. 
Come and celebrate with my son. She invited me to her birthday party, and I said I would definitely go. Let me tell you something. We're having a big party this year to celebrate my 60th birthday. All of our relatives and friends will be there. I'd appreciate it if you dress appropriately. My son will be fine, but you're not going to be dressed like you always are, are you? I'll be embarrassed. My mother-in-law told me to come dressed properly and hung up the phone. What my mother-in-law meant by dress appropriately was probably her favorite top-notch brand name clothes. I was stumped because I didn't have that kind of clothes that would be appropriate for such a party. But when I talked to my husband about it, he told me not to worry about it, and we decided to dress a little more formally. Then came my mother-in-law's birthday. The party was in the late afternoon, so my husband and I went to a department store in the morning to pick up a birthday gift for my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law, a luxury-minded person, would be happy if I got her something luxurious. Also, she wouldn't complain if I told her my husband had picked it out, so in a way it was easier for us. After we finished picking out the gifts, we had lunch together and went home to get ready to go to my in-laws. At that time, I received a call from my grandmother-in-law on my phone. Come to my house now. I explain that I am out of the house and that I am going home now to change. I then told her that I would show up before my mother-in-law's party. Just come to my house dressed as you are. My grandmother-in-law said that I don't need to change my clothes and that I should come home right away. I wondered if it was something urgent, so I went to see her. I asked my husband to go home and get changed. We were going to meet at my in-laws later. I went to my grandmother-in-law's house. My grandmother-in-law invited me into her house with a laugh. She was laughing and telling me about my mother-in-law's party. It looks like a really huge party. Various things have been delivered to their house since this morning. From my grandmother-in-law's house, I can see the entrance of my in-law's house, and I hear all kinds of vendors have been coming and going since this morning. I heard that a big flower arrangement had just arrived, and I could see that my mother-in-law was very enthusiastic about it. My grandmother-in-law said, My daughter-in-law does a great job and took me into the sitting room at the back of the house. The room was lined with several Paulina trusts. My grandmother-in-law opened one of the chests and took out something from inside. Isabel, you were told to come dressed properly today, weren't you? I'll give you my dress so you can wear it. This way she won't be able to complain, my grandmother-in-law said with a smile and held out a dress in front of me. The beautiful and well-maintained dress was her pride and joy. It's a good one. I don't wear it much anymore. It would be a shame to keep it put away. I thought it would be a good opportunity to give it to you, Isabel. My grandmother-in-law said so, and also took out the accessories that went with the dress from the chest. My grandmother-in-law seemed to have noticed my mother-in-law's comments, so she recommended that I go in a splendid costume today so that I would not be blamed. I don't know anything about dresses, but from the way that my grandmother-in-law talked, it must be really expensive. When she said she would give it to me, I was puzzled. I can't accept such a thing. I'm sorry. My grandmother-in-law responded with a kind smile, pushing the dress towards me saying, it's okay, it's okay. I know you will take good care of it. That's why I want to give it to you. With these words, my grandmother-in-law begins to dress me. With her brilliant hands, she had me dressed in no time at all. I haven't worn a dress since my 21st birthday. My grandmother-in-law laughed and said, I see. I have not worn a dress for a long time either. This is a good opportunity, isn't it, since it's a fancy party. While we talked about the party, I didn't realize the dressing was over. Then someone came to visit my grandmother-in-law. I will have this person do your hair and makeup. You will get your hair and makeup done by her. My grandmother-in-law had even taken the trouble to call a hairdresser for today. My grandmother-in-law has been taking care of me for so long. She is my lovely granddaughter. I have to make her look beautiful. Thanks to my grandmother-in-law, 
I was glamorously dressed. My grandmother-in-law gave me her assurance that my mother-in-law would have no complaints. When I had just finished my preparations, I received a call from my husband that he had arrived at my parents' house. I thanked my grandmother-in-law and decided to go see him. I'll be there as soon as I change my clothes. My grandmother-in-law set me off. My husband was surprised to see me in gorgeous clothes, and I entered my parents-in-law's house with him. The hall of my parent-in-law's house was already crowded with my mother-in-law's relatives, and the party had already started. My mother-in-law, dressed in an eye-catching bright red dress, was sitting on the top of the table, smiling happily. Happy birthday, mother-in-law. I head over to my mother-in-law to greet her. Then I hand her the gift I have prepared for her. My mother-in-law looks at me as if she is assessing me from top to bottom. Then she takes me out of the hall and brings me toward the kitchen. You, what a cheap dress. I told you to come properly dressed. My mother-in-law complained about my dress more rudely than usual, probably because she was already drunk. The next moment, she splashed a wine glass she was holding onto my dress. The stain on my dress spread rapidly. You know it's because you forced yourself to wear a dress. Why don't you wear something with a pattern instead of such a plain one? You really have no taste. That's why I hate people from poor families. My mother-in-law, not caring about my dismay and having ruined my dress, spoke one insulting word after another. She told me to go home because she would not allow me to attend the party in a cheap dress. This is your mother's. I was so shocked that it was all I could manage to mutter. I was so sad that my grandmother-in-law had prepared all these things for me with all her heart, and now they had all been ruined at once. Whose mother? What about her? What are you talking about? Anyway, I don't want you here today. Just leave my son and go home. My mother-in-law, who did not understand the situation, quickly tried to get me to leave. At that moment, I heard my grandmother-in-law's voice behind me. What's so cheap? Do you mean my dress? I turned around and there she was. She came to me as I had tears welling up. Oh my God, it's terrible. My grandmother-in-law looked at the stain on my dress and muttered, I was so sorry that all I could do was apologize to my grandmother-in-law, and I just turned my head down and mouthed an apology. It's all right, my grandmother-in-law said. At the spot where the wine had been spilled, she used a handkerchief. My mother-in-law, watching this scene, had sobered up and looked very pale. If you do it this way, the stain won't spread. I'll have the stain remover to take care of the rest. My grandmother-in-law looked at me with kind eyes and then turned back to my mother-in-law. Which dress do you mean by cheap one? This is one I had made a long time ago. It must have cost several million dollars. The fabric and the tailoring are first class, just like you love. My mother-in-law rolled her eyes as soon as my grandmother-in-law mentioned the price. I was also surprised that it was so expensive, although I had heard that it was a good one. My grandmother-in-law explained the value of the dress to my mother-in-law in a sarcastic tone. My mother-in-law, who seemed even more upset than I was, replied as if she were trying to squeeze out a response. I'm sorry. I mean, I didn't think it was that expensive. My mother-in-law, who seemed to have sobered up completely, could not refute my grandmother-in-law's words and just looked down. People who know what they're talking about understand. You who only have cheap dresses don't understand. If you ask me, you are new money and you have no taste. My grandmother-in-law was extremely sarcastic with my mother-in-law. She said the same things that my mother-in-law used to say to me. My mother-in-law must have felt embarrassed because her face turned bright red. She was just biting her lip in silence. Then my grandmother-in-law began to lecture my mother-in-law about her attitude towards me. What kind of a thing is it to snub a daughter-in-law who has come from another family? I felt sorry for my mother-in-law, who looked like she was about to cry and listened to her silently. I'll leave it at that. Me and Isabel won't be attending anymore. Have a good time. 
After she finished lecturing my mother-in-law for a while, my grandmother-in-law let her go. Her bright red dress, which she had prepared with great enthusiasm for the occasion, looked ridiculous in this situation. Wait here. I have a change of clothes for you at home. I changed into my own clothes, which my grandmother-in-law went to get for me and went back to my grandmother-in-law's house. My husband also came with me. My husband seemed to be very angry when he heard this story from my grandmother-in-law. My grandparents-in-law, my husband, and I left my parent-in-law's house and went to dinner with just the four of us. We had a good time without worrying about my mother-in-law. After that, my mother-in-law was lectured again by my husband and my grandmother-in-law, who were furious, and they told her not to approach me. She was also restricted from spending money freely. It seems that this happened because of my grandmother-in-law's words that my mother-in-law should learn modesty. At that time, my mother-in-law's face was so pale that I could not look at her. Furthermore, my grandmother-in-law declared at that time that she would give me all her dresses, jewelry, and other valuable things. It doesn't make sense to let someone who doesn't know the value have them you know. She was very sarcastic with my mother-in-law until the end. I had tried not to say much about it before, but it seems she disliked my mother-in-law's taste for luxury. Later, with a mischievous smile, my grandmother-in-law confessed to me, the Weinstein dress came back to me clean. I was really happy and relieved from the bottom of my heart. I still don't understand the quality of things yet, but I have learned a lot from my grandmother-in-law who accepted me.